The video you're about to watch is a preview of my online courses on fashion designing and launching your own fashion brand. If you want to find out more about it, click the link below. Here we go. Hello again and welcome back to how to create a fashion collection and launch your own fashion brand. So let's get right to it. Some of these online courses will tell you, ah, just buy a t-shirt, set up a website, sell it online and you're in business. This course is not that. This course is about developing the artistic side of you, the artist within you. This course is about creativity. It's about inspiration. It's a discovery process. This course is exciting. Make this course a vehicle of self-expression, your self-expression, because ultimately in the long run, it's what will keep your company going collection after collection, year after year. We'll start with, where do ideas come from? Well, the answer is they come from anywhere and everywhere. So you have to be open to and be aware of everything around you, everything around you. Be like a sponge. Absorb everything around you. Be open to getting ideas from, say, from magazines, from films, from music. You can get ideas from going to a museum. Uh, ideas come from the streets, right? So, I want you to start a journal, a fashion journal. Think of it like a diary of ideas. So, I want you to buy a notebook. Go to your local art supply store and buy a notebook blank pages and start collecting ideas. This will be a pool of inspiration. It could be sketches, it could be pictures, it could be poems, it could be words. Yes, even words. For example, if I say to you the word Renaissance, right? So you have a visual, you know what that period in history was and you can create a design and design a collection based on that word. One way to put all these ideas and inspiration together into one page is to create a collage. This in the industry is known as a mood board or an inspiration board. Here are some examples of mood boards. As you can see, they're all different. There's no two alike. It's really a form of self-expression, your self-expression. So what I want you to do is to look at magazines and start cutting out images that inspire you. Not just pictures from magazines, but also things that you like. Maybe you'll come across a button that you really like, that really inspires you, or a piece of fabric, or a swatch, or a flower, or a petal, something from Instagram, anything, anything goes. So this is your first exercise, okay? The next exercise is what I call discovering who are you as a designer, as an artist? Who are you as an artist? In other words, defining your style, your own individual, unique style in fashion designing. Ralph Lauren, for example. You can see that if you look at his collection, well, you can say he has a very classic look, a very classic style. Then you look at someone like a, uh, a Betsy Johnson or a Vivian Westwood, uh, which are more avant-garde, more edgy. There's all different kinds of styles. Who are you as a designer? What is your style? This next exercise is a series of questions. I'm gonna ask you 10 questions. And you can pause this video, take your time, answer each question. The ultimate goal here is to answer what do I like? What do I like? It's a discovery process. Answering and defining what you like will inspire you to create your designs and your collection. Number one, what is your favorite store? Money is no object, you got all the money in the world, what's your favorite store? Number two, who is your favorite designer or designers? Maybe more than, more than one. Number three, what is your favorite time period? Do you like the 60s, the 20s? Number four, what is your favorite movie or movies? 
Number five, what is your favorite magazine? If you could afford to buy any magazine, what would you buy? Number six, what is your favorite music or musician? Number seven, what is your favorite color? Number eight, your favorite type of fabric. Like, do you, do you like chiffon and corduroy, velvet? Do you like satin? What do you like? Number nine, your favorite textile in terms of do you like solid colors? Or do you like stripes? Do you like florals? Do you like polka dots? And then finally, knits versus wovens. You might not know the answer to this question because we haven't talked about fabric, but next class we will. Okay. So, let's recap. You're going to start a fashion journal, which will start an ongoing visual dialogue of creativity. Then you will create a mood board. These two kind of go hand in hand. Then you will answer those 10 questions that I gave you. This is the foundation of your collection development and of your creative process. So we've got some work to do. You've got some work to do, okay? So let's get to work. I will see you next class.